Coming up on the Tuesday edition of Sports Showtime, the men's basketball team goes for five straight in the SEC against Arkansas. Could they get a win for the 100-year anniversary game? And a special appearance from the mastermind behind LSU Gymnastics, Coach D.D. Bro. Plus a third installment of All Access with Rus Russell Shepard. We've got all you want to see from inside the football facility. So go ahead and lace up those PF flyers. This is Sports Showtime on Target TV. Into the live game coverage around from Southern LSU Sports, Showtime in the towns. Get the scoop on the ball and sneak peek on the track. Key in on the field when them Tigers attack. In fact, you get it back a few times a week. But it starts on Tuesday, third day of the week. They're beasts when they broadcast. Increase like a fall class. Critique when I speak by my squad in the quad, man. Yeah, they the stars on the quad, man. That's the TBC, Tiger TVP. Every linebacker. game, every start, every player, every situation they face in the star in the making. And you get it first exclusively. Yeah, I love you feeling me. Who want the latest on the TIG? ERS. <laughs> That's the Mellis Shoot Tigers. We get it sparking like a fire. Welcome to Sports Showtime, your number one source for everything LSU athletics. I'm Brian Tompkins. And I'm Mary Claire Palmer. Later on in the show, we'll have a breakdown of LSU football recruiting and who the Tigers are going to land on tomorrow's National Signing Day. But first, the LSU men's basketball team celebrated another birthday. For the second straight Saturday, it was a sellout in the Pete Maravich Assembly Center. This time, the Arkansas Razorbacks came to town to do battle with the Tigers. Let's take you to the highlights. It was a 100th year anniversary game in, in the PMAC. It was a sellout crowd and the Tigers didn't disappoint. Garrett Temple starts out with a block shot showing you why he's one of the best defensive players to ever lace it up. Getting the ball down to Marcus Storm with a slammer jam of the Tigers are going crazy early in the game. Garrett Temple again makes the defensive play, but this time Terry Martin ends up with the loose ball. He throws the ball, whoop, behind one, whoop, behind the other Arkansas player, kicks out to Bo Spencer who knocks down the three. Bo Spencer was five for six, shooting three pointers for the night. Coming back down on the court, my man Chris Johnson decides to get in on the defense ever with his block shot. Don't bring that Kool-Aid to a GM party, boy. It's kind of like one of those things when your mom used to tell you don't do something, you did it anyway. Well, Arkansas didn't listen. Chris Johnson with another, with another block. Tigers led by 20 at half. All Century team honored at half, but we'll have that for you later on in the show. Chris Johnson decides to give this ball to Garrett Temple, who then hands off to Bo Spencer with a hot hand for the night for another three. Like I said earlier, five for six, 15 of his game high 21 points. Down on this play, Courtney Forson, though, decides to steal the ball. He gets the ball back and makes the left-handed layup to cut the lead to seven for the Tigers. Courtney Forson then takes the ball on his own on the left side, I'm guessing that's his favorite side, to knock down the oopy doop layup for two more points, cut the tight lead to five. What do you do when you're in a big game and you need someone? You go to your big player. Tasman Mitchell, usually not a man from the outside, but knocks down the three to pretty much put the game away for the Razorbacks. The Razorbacks are pretty much demoralized at this point. The Tigers will go on to win by a final score of 79 to 69. Tiger point guard Bo Spencer led LSU scoring with 21 points. LSU center Chris Johnson put out his best offensive showing of the season with 18 points and 11 boards. The Tigers look to take the fight to Athens tomorrow where they'll fight, face a Georgia team who's yet to win in the SEC. As we mentioned earlier, LSU did unveil their all-century team this Saturday. Those included were Sparky Wade, Joe Dean, Bob Pettit, who's fifth all-time LSU scoring history, and of course the legend, Pistol Pete Maravich. The Pistol is the NCAA all-time leading point scorer. He averaged 44.2 points per game in just 83 games. Oh yeah, and he didn't even have a three-point line to work with. Continuing down the list is Al Sanders, the third, Collis Temple Jr., whom we still thank for his children, Rudy Macklin, and Ethan Martin. Rudy Macklin is the second only to Pistol Pete in scoring at LSU. Next, we have Howard Carter, Don Redden, Ricky Blanton, and Chris Jackson. Chris Jackson set the NCAA freshman scoring record, averaging 30.2 points per game during his first year at LSU. LSU. Finally, some more recognizable names, the Big Diesel himself, Shaquille O'Neal, Showtime Dunker, Stromile Swift, Brandon Bass, and Glenn the Big Baby Davis. After the game, Coach Trent Johnson talked about the pressure on his team with the presence of former LSU greats. Well, I, I was, I was <clears throat> uncharacteristically tight. And I think a lot of it had to do just from the standpoint of the respect and the honor I feel for the guys that were back, Coach Brown, the Temples, uh, Rudy, all these guys. And, uh, you know, one of the things that uh, I mentioned to the guys before we went on the floor, I said, you know, there's better coaches that are out here, there's better players that are in this locker room, but the one thing we can give these former guys, these former players, these former coaches is that we can show them our ability to compete. 
It was a catfight in a PMAC on Sunday as LSU faced up against fifth-ranked Auburn. Although LSU ended the first half with a five-point lead, Auburn's Ali Smalley quickly turned the tables, starting off the second sinking three threes to take Auburn ahead. Auburn would go on later on a shooting spree, hitting 63% from the field in the second half. However, free throws became the difference maker in the game as LSU sunk a mere nine of their 22 attempts from the line. Despite a solid performance from senior leader Kristen Morris, the Lady Tigers would fall to Auburn 66-55. to Allison Hightower contributed 10 points for her seventh consecutive double-figure scoring game. The Lady Tigers look to bounce back Thursday against Arkansas at 8 in the PMAC.